In the age of the internet and having whatever you want with free two-day shipping delivered to your front door, people ask, why should I bother learning survival skills at all? So that's what we're talking about today. Why should you invest time learning survival skills for yourself, your family, your kids, and sharing them with your greater community? Survival skills aren't just for previous generations, right? The, we say the lessons we learned written on the tombstones of others. Survival skills are what brought us all here. And if we go back far enough, like all of our generations or all of our ancestors were super connected to the landscape because their daily existence required it. Uh, we owe our existence to like essentially the ability to harness fire. Uh, so like the the... The, the gas that took you to work, the electricity that keeps the lights on, letting you scroll through TikTok, um, the uh, ability to cook your burger uh, for lunch, um, the, uh, the way that like you're watching this video now, that's all because of the, our ability as humans to use tools and harness the element of fire. So we're really connecting with our ancestors. That's one of the highest... Uh, or one of the biggest reasons that people come out to survival school is like to reconnect and learn history through the eyes of like living it. But ultimately, survival skills are about skill acquisition. So the question isn't just like, why are we learning survival skills? Why are we learning anything at all? And that gets into like the positive mental attitude and the mindset of a survivalist that we want to be sponges for information so we can apply that to have more efficient, more abundant, more well-rounded lives. But you want your kids to be smart. You want them to be proactive people uh, and you know have, be, be, have other people look at them with respect that you got to give them the reps at failure. And survival skills is a great way for people to learn what they're capable of. Whether you want like dexterity, put a knife in their hand, or problem solving, go through the shelter, water, fire, food, tools, and technology uh, curriculum that we have. It's incredibly comforting to know that you can be wherever you are. That's where you're meant to be. So I was looking at, uh, at statistics and... Almost 10% of people have anxiety disorders. Now, an, an anxiety disorder is a condition that causes excessive, persistent feelings of fear, worry, dread, or uneasiness. Like, what's that about, right? How debilitating could that w would that be? Symptoms include, apart from the panic attacks, like the, the mental systems, uh, the mental symptoms, excuse me, are difficulty concentrating, irritability, fatigue, poor sleep, or the inability to set aside worry. How, do, how does that describe people that you know around you? And like, what, how much is your life suffering by not being able to sleep? Um, so just if you can, if we can kind of mitigate those anxiety uh, disorders and um, just the feel, let's not even talk disorders. Let's just talk about the feelings of anxiety. People like watch the news all the time, the uncertainty about food, the uncertainty about like polit politics, uh, the economy, whatever it is, survival skills are the window to feeling okay wherever you stand. Um, and really it comes from like connection to the landscape. And we think that disconnection breeds uneasiness. Uh, so it, it's hard to feel at home when you are separate from nature. And survival skills is the easiest way to reconnect re with nature and have a respect for the natural world, not separation. When I was living with some native tribes, I heard the phrase, uh, well, they were talking, talking about um, how do you teach younger children to like not throw rocks and be... Uh, respectful like good kids uh and the reason w that was given why uh people don't throw rocks is because um there are cousins there are brothers there's there are sisters there are mothers and we are one with nature how would you like it if someone was throwing you around you know we don't even need to get into bullying but it it's 
survival skills are real life Minecraft, but it's more like Minecraft, you know? So if you want quiet, respectful, proactive, patient, and capable kids that grow up to quiet, respectful, maybe not quiet, proactive, patient, and capable uh, adults that are going to change the world, we have to start teaching survival skills to young people. So if you want quiet kids, teach them to listen to the birds. If we want respectful uh, children and adults, show them the power of nature. Uh, we want proactive kids, give them the understanding of things don't just come about without hard work. That is survival skills to a T. You're not gonna build a shelter without hard work, picking up debris. You're not gonna build a fire without practicing the techniques and knowing it and, and, and having it in your body and doing it over and over again, getting those reps that we talk about all the time. Uh, and if you want patient uh, kids, show them that things take time. Survival skills teach us the to have gratitude for the modern conveniences so that we're not spending time hours building really nice debris huts. We're not spending uh, years perfecting fire uh, technology by rubbing sticks together uh, and friction fires. Uh, so patience is a huge key. I say that like when people come out, we can tell everything we need to know about them. Not that we need to know, but you can tell a lot by watching how people react it, during the friction fire. Some people will be so upset and frustrated that they'll throw their bow drill kit across the, the woods. Others will sit with that skill and fail and fail and fail, but ultimately get it. And they reap the most from the survival classes and the friction fire particularly. Uh, so if you want patient, show them, if you want patient children, show them that things take time. Survival skills is a great way to do that. And if you want capable uh, kids and adults, sure, survival skills shows them that they can build whatever they need from rope to shelter, fire, uh, tools, bows and arrows, uh, crossbows even, uh, whatever you need, you can craft for yourself. And that's a direct result of learning uh, survival skills. Sometimes I've heard people talk about like the modern educational system and they describe it as uh, like cramming for the test and then dumping that knowledge, right? So we, we know we have a test, we study, 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 cram, 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 and our minds can't pick that up. We take the test and immediately forget, on to, uh, forget all the information that, that we learned. Survival skills is the opposite of that. And you will hold on to the lessons that you learn from nature. And, and it, you can't dump, dump that stuff away because you, those lessons are hard fought. Uh, and particularly if you have a good mentor or a good teacher, um, you learn the lessons by getting it, uh, getting the skills into your body, getting them into your mind, and then you hold on them forever. You're not planning for a test. You're planning to solve problems. And typically those problems are what is immediately in, in, in front of your face and uh, that need to get solved before you go on to the next one. So if you can solve problems as a kid, young adult, someone learning survival skills, uh, then you can transfer that to like ultimately solving the problems of the world. You know, I love the quote that the problems of the world are infinitely complex. The solutions are embarrassingly simple. Survival skills, living with the land, homesteading. That's our solution for the craziness uh, uh, the world surrounds us. So you want your kids to be like entrepreneurs and successful business people that have to look for f solutions and solve problems. There's no better way to teach them than survival skills. Just look at the success of Eagle Scouts. Like the statistics are overwhelming. Uh, that, you know, they, they are highly proactive, highly uh, like accredited businessmen. Um, if you want to murder the, ask, your, ask somebody a question and they just say, well, I don't know. Survival skills is the way to do that. There's no way that you will not know what to do if you've practiced survival skills long enough under the eyes of, uh, uh, you know, ha you have the right mentors, you have the right teachers. Uh, you can figure out a solution um, just by asking, you know, the, the sacred question, which is like, what happened here and what can I learn from it? If you ask that and have the awareness and everything, 
you, those solutions come to you and that's directly result of like living with the land learning survival skills and practicing them uh i guess it's worth mentioning now that like you have to learn in a safe environment survival skills are literally practicing to keep yourself alive in a terrible situation which i think is like the like way down the list of reasons to uh, you know, take uh, to learn survival skills. The chances of you being like cast off into the woods are, are very, very slim. And provided that you've told somebody where you, you're going, uh, in North America, the survival situations are over in well less than 72 hours. So, like, all you need to do is just like sit tight, stay warm, somebody will come and get you. Uh, it's only when we get into like, you know, longer than three days to a week do we really need to like be thinking about like water and then food comes 30 days we're talking about the rule of three here but um survival skills bring all the subjects together uh from like you know and this is why we love the german uh forest school model where they're taking kids off into the woods and like learning uh survival skills uh, and giving these kids knives at like very early ages that teaches them dexterity teaches them respect teaches them how to use tools very very early and that just goes on. Uh, but survival skills bring all the subjects of school together. And we have a segment in our survival ecology field trips that we call fire science. We're teaching chemistry, uh, like activation energy. We're teaching uh, thermodynamics. And we're teaching ultimately the history of civilization and how that we ha have controlled fire and been able to craft the, and this world around us that we're so grateful for. If you want a hobby, it should take care of like a little bit of physical fitness in there too. And hauling logs around, being outside, it breaks that cycle of um, being in front of the computer and gives you a hobby that's really rewarding. You have a tangible product by at the end and like a really awesome camp to show your friends or um, whatever, like, you know, the spoons, bowls, whatever craft you want to take on. Uh, but you have that physical fitness of being able to like haul logs around and just from like doing something and being active that's a skill that will take you for like so far in life um we've talked about that in other videos but man i'm thankful that i've got my physical fitness dialed in a little bit um particularly if you know where i came from uh, so survival skills is ultimately the ability to handle unexpected situations and at the same time, cultivate abundance for you and yourself and your family. And so if you've made it this far, I know that you're passionate about uh, life and surviving whatever the universe throws at you. I invite you to like this video, subscribe so you never miss an the, the content here. But ultimately, sustainablehomestead.com is the place to go. You can check out our resource library there. Sign up for our Homestead Mastermind, which is a, a weekly Zoom call that we have between homesteaders, ranchers, farmers, bushcrafters, survivalists, preppers, project managers, and everybody. Um, in the you know homesteading survival sphere uh, and we're sharing our tips and tricks and how to cultivate abundance for ourselves our families and our communities so we're doing this all the time if you can't come visit us in person and sign up for the download of information whether that's like our survival essentials classes or homestead permaculture classes if you want like a really experienced mentor going hands-on showing you uh, the ins and outs of survival and homesteading. Uh, come see us in person, either book a private uh, class or sign up for one of the classes that's on the calendar already. But uh, sustainablehomestead.com is the place to go for that. Uh, we'll shave decades off the time it would take you to learn this stuff on your own. And then you can go home, share it with your family and build those like really successful, well-rounded friends, children, friendships, community, from the survival skills that you've learned here. Uh, and we say it all the time, uh, preparedness today means peace of mind tomorrow. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the future.